Back. Back from the leaves. How was looking at leaves? It was good. There was a hey, lot. You ready to go look at leaves this weekend? Nope. Well, get ready. So if you don't know, I saw a bunch of comments. Uh, his name is Phil Murr. Um, that's his actual name. So, <laughs> his face. You should have seen his face. So his name is Tommy. The reason we call him Filmer is because that's my name and there's only one. There's only enough room for fucking one. Uh, anyway, starting the day off right, we've got a beautiful sight that I'm sure... Phil Murr just uh, just shot. Josh has put the whole front suspension in, including the brakes, and it looks so gangster. All powder coated, brand new. We got the ARP studs in. We got the dust shields on. Josh will be replacing the inner and outer tie rods, but this looks so sick. So we are waiting to install the engine. Uh, reason being, we need that T bracket, and we're gonna change the booster and master. I'm having the dude who I'm buying them from overnight them for 10 a.m. tomorrow. So our goal is to get the car completely suspended with the suspension, uh, brakes, all that, and then tomorrow, put the engine in. And in this video, which will be tomorrow, put the engine in and drop the car on the ground on the ITR wheels with the new suspension and all that stuff. So I'm super fucking stoked. Um, so get excited for that. And if you haven't entered for your chance to win the Civic, link is in the description, TommyFA.com. This weekend, if you're free and you live in the Fontana Dam, North Carolina, Bryson City area, we will be at the Classic Honda meet at Tail of the Dragon with Rudnick, Willie, the filmer. I think Ben's coming. We'll see who comes. We'll see who we can get to come up. Grant, I'm going to bring the F80. We're going to bring the Civic. We might bring the ITR. So if you're around, come at us. Come at me. Dude, that shot through the radiator support, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Organics are all powder coated. Brand new, we got the ARP studs in. Dude, that shot through the radiator support, dude. Holy shit. A wrap kind of sounds like breaking. <laughs> it's gonna say turning. Hmm. That sucks. Skunk to genuine parts. You filming? Oh. So we went straight Honda boy on this. 
Now, do I love skunk two parts at this age of mine? Not like in love with them, not in love with them. But would the 18 year old, 19 year old me buy them? For goddamn sure. Would I buy conies and ground controls today? No, but I did, didn't I? Didn't I, Filmer? Yeah. Guess you're 19. So now, now I guess I'm 19 like you. Nope. American Eagle called. They want us back. <laughs> so we got some skunk two hoses. Josh, what do you, how do you feel about these? These are gangster. I like that they're black. They're black. They say skunk two on them. Does anyone know the origin of that name? No. Why I'm, is it I'm skunk sure two? someone does. Okay, so we got these. Oh, wait a second, though. <laughs> yeah? Maybe? A little bit? Need for Speed Underground? Need for Speed Underground called. So we got more Skunk 2 stuff. Because we're 19 again. True. Oh. <laughs> Don't drop that thump a thun. You know what I'm saying? You know what they say. Look at how they package this, though. They have such a high mark on their Chinese parts. That they're able to pack. No, I don't know where these are made. This looks like a shoe box. Skunk 2 camber kits. I definitely had these on a car. I can almost assure you. And then in the last box. Skunk 2 rear lower control arms. Because I don't know if you filmed this. You did, right? Josh breaking those bolts. Yeah. Oh, we need to get bolts. I got something. Oh, okay. Skunk 2, rear lower control arms, upgraded bushings. These are great. They're rubber, so they can't fail on us. And they come with this certificate of authenticity, I think. Dude, all we need is a, a Beaks tie bar. Yeah, we do need a Beaks tie bar. So look at this. Skunk 2, genuine parts. Is Skunk 2 good? Is Skunk 2 good? I don't know. I, it's I, like not bad. Honda Bolt. Glad Rudnick had that. We we stole that shit. The only time Rudnick will ever come in handy is today in his garbage can pile of bolts. Actual OEM Honda Bolt for this part. Yeah, it was us at this point. Yeah, for sure. He owe me for the rest of his life. All right, as you just have been seeing, Josh is putting the tires on the. Uh, the type R wheels that we had painted championship white. We've got all the suspension in. We got the Skunk 2 camber uh, kit up here. I was kind of just gonna go with stock, but when the lower control arm issue happened, I was like, well, let's get lower. And then if I got lower, I think it'd be silly if I didn't if I didn't do the front upper at the same time. So we've got all that in. Josh installed the Type R brakes, the five lug, all new hardware, the ground controls with the Coney's, the Skunk 2 lower arms. We're missing that Beaks bar, you know? We gotta have that big pink. I don't know, we're not gonna put that shit in. But uh, this is about as ricey as we're getting. Anyway, I'm stoked to see this. This is that jam. So, very shortly, once he gets all these on, we're gonna be able to see the stance of the Civic. We're gonna be able to see it on the ground with the Type R wheels, with the 16s. I'm super stoked, because I've wanted this since I was 16 years old. I wanted an EG hatch, Type R5 lug with a cool, you know, dual cam VTEC engine. And uh, we're there. Get excited, boys. If you have an interfere chance to win the Civic, link's in the description. If you don't want this in your life, you're just fucking up. You know, this is just, this is Honda dreams, Honda boy dreams. Matt Mormon might have built the ultimate Honda, but I built the ultimate Honda boy Honda. You know what I mean?
So this guy's in the way, but uh, look at how good that looks. This is just ultimate Honda Boy dreams, you know? We got Type R brakes, Type R wheels, fresh champ white wheels. It's too good. If it ain't a Type R, then it ain't a Type R. It's true. If it ain't an IS300, then who gives a fuck? I like it. All right, boys, it's that moment. We're definitely not low enough at all, but uh, we've got the oh, the camera plates in. We've got the rear control arms in. It actually looks kind of sunk. Where I thought these would be aggressive on the EG. Right. It's aggressive in the front, not at all in the back. But it's Honda Boy shit. We'll see how sunk it is once we go down. It looks so good. I can't get far enough away. There's shit everywhere, but look at this. We'll let the filmer take over. In the back, some monster truck. Oh my god. I don't want to give this away anymore. I just really don't. Looking at this is fucking so simple and so clean. If you guys haven't entered for the Civic giveaway, you are fucking up. Uh, so we still have the DC2, ITR, well that's redundant, Recaro's to go in, and then the entire ass engine, but fuck, this looks so good. Put in the comments if you, if you actually like this or if you think I'm crazy. I think this looks sick. The 16s actually look good too. Yeah. I was confused on that, but I don't know. Do you see that pull from initial D that crashes into the barrier? Yeah. <laughs> was that a red Civic? Yeah, with a red EG. He's all oh, just like slamming into the wall. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> this looks so good. Shit, if you're a Honda boy, I re get it again. I never got to do this type of fun modding in my Honda day. So now that I'm doing it, I'm like, shit, why'd I start doing Skylines? This is just, I don't know why this simplicity of this is just so fire. And there goes a piece of shit. That dude's building fucking Miata still. Anyway, put in the comments if you entered the Civic giveaway. I want a show of hands. And uh, now, Josh kind of has to take a bunch of shit apart so we can get the engine in tomorrow, but it'll all be worth it in the end. This car needs a bath. Needs a, the Recaro's put in. We can't do it now until we get the axles in. What do you think? Like, do you have to? Can you have the axles in when the engine goes in? No. I mean, you can. But it's wide. It's annoying. You guys hear that scratches. stupid piece of shit? That car is junk. It's junk. I was gonna do 225s, but I was scared. But now that I look at it, we could have fit them. Yeah. Dude. The 215 45s. It looks so good. Makes me like Honda's like so much more. I just said, I'm like, I don't know why I built GTRs. This is like so much more fun to like mix and match and assemble. Dude, the red and white like flows so good. It looks so far. Yo, you only got three lugs though. Yeah, we got them all. We just Jeez, didn't put them on. Dude. Josh has to take the whole front end back. Looking like the fucking shop over there. Looking Those like uh, the Haggard. The Hagger Miata, red, three lugs. At least this has three. He has two. Oh my god. Teach their own. Well, that's not really where you'd apply that to. Teach their own. <laughs> the theme of this build, just like the GTST, is OEM Plus. Ben has a little cold, that's why he's been wearing a mask, but he was confirmed to not have COVID, but I still don't want to get his little fucking cold. Anyway, the theme of this build is OEM Plus, and we've been wanting to do this uh, powder coat the top of the radiator black. We want to do it in the GTST. We now can powder coat in-house, so we are powder coating the top of that brand new coil black to look like the plastic radiator as much as we can. This is the OEM one. So Ben's going to powder coat it like a satin. What is it, satin? Silk satin black. Silk satin black. I think it'll blend well. Don't bend any of the fins or I'll murder you. And cross your fingers on how that looks. We're like a little concerned, but just with the look, but I think I think it's gonna do exactly what we want. I just got an order, because we just uploaded. Let's see who it is. Let's see who that boy is. Hope it's a boy. I mean, I don't hope it's a boy, but hope I'm not calling a girl a boy. I hope I'm not assuming your gender. The name is Michael Dixon. Definitely a boy. 
radiator came out the oven and it's everything I could have asked for it looks OEM as fuck I can't wait till Josh puts it in and we can see what it looks like but uh this is exactly the look I was going for is just OEM black it says coil still but it's good I'm gonna put the OEM radiator cap on and those skunk 2 hoses which I kind of wish I got stock hoses but we're in a pinch and I didn't want to reuse the old ones and we it was tough to get the new ones in time so I just got the skunk 2 maybe at some point during the giveaway I'll replace them with OEM put in the comments if you accept the skunk 2 or if you're against it like I said I'm building this like the 19 year old me would have and with what was available at the time and uh, check it out we got steel braided brake lines too forgot to mention that but skunk 2 was all that was around this car is even getting a skunk 2 exhaust um, I tried to get a spoon one wasn't happening in time may upgrade later not really sure it's just gonna be what I can find and how it sounds that's gonna be the most important thing so anyway waiting for Josh to finish painting something and then we're gonna put that radiator in once it cools and see if it looks OEM Continuing with the Civic, uh, it's a new day. It was brought to my attention that my booster and master were too small, so I was like, well, I don't know, because the car had four-wheel discs. These don't seem that much bigger, but I'm gonna listen to the internet. The internet knows more than me. So, bought a DC2 booster and master. That's not the master. Master's over here. Josh is now currently painting the booster restoring the booster even though it was in pretty good shape here's the one inch DC2 master the annoying thing however line is here and here and on the old one they're both over here that's a JDM DC2 booster so we have to tweak the lines here's the here's the old booster they're close uh, this one is here this one's on the complete opposite side this one should be cake, the other one not. So Josh is going to have to figure out which line is which, and then, which should be pretty easy, and then just re-bend the stock lines, swap that booster out, and we should be good. We put a top suicide sticker on the radiator cap because it was a Blitz. These all take Nissan caps, so we had to get a Blitz Nissan cap, and we powder coated the top of the radiator as you saw. This is perfect. This whole thing is coming together perfect. So the goal today is to get the engine in, get the booster, get the master in, get the engine in. Once the engine's in, hopefully the exhaust shows up, which it's going to when the exhaust shows up, Ben can fabricate the little piece. Josh can start it. The last piece of the puzzle is the rear T-bracket. That shows up tomorrow, which is cutting it so fucking close because we're leaving for Tale of the Dragon on Friday morning. Pray for us. Okay, it's time. Josh is about to set this on a table, put it in the car, and I'm super excited. We also got our delivery from my favorite Honda Boy brand. And I don't even know if it's good. I never really owned anything from them. I had like a shift knob, the Type R shift knob. We got Skunk 2 exhaust for now. Throw that on, see if we like it, see if we hate it. It's just a stainless steel exhaust, so they're, they're all pretty similar as long as it's not crazy loud. And if it is, we could just Put a bunch of resonators in it until it's no put some resonators in it until it's good we've got a bunch of exhaust so you just cut resonators off and just start adding them so he's gonna put it on a table there jack it into the car and as you'll watch we're about to have a complete civic hatch jack it off of this car. jack it off of that <laughs> jack it into that what's up Hey 
And the engine is in. It looks right at home in the Civic. Uh, I can't wait to see how much it lowers the front end because we were yesterday we were gonna adjust it and then we're like, wait. And me and Josh both sat on the radiator support and it just like slammed it. So uh, we are definitely gonna have to modify the rear, right Josh? Yeah. But the front, I think will fall right where we want it to. You might even have to raise it. You think so? Maybe. Well, the engine is like, I want to say these engines, like the K24 was 300 pounds, um, but I just don't know how the car, like, for sitting on the furthest point forward and then sitting in between the straw towers, how much difference that would make, you know? Right, no, it doesn't really weigh that much more than the other No. Yeah, true, 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 true. So, power steering line's hooked up, Josh is just doing some of the accessories. Use this. There, yeah, that'd be cool. This is different from the D series. I'm gonna try and make that work also. Okay. Just stupid. This engine. one will be cool. I still have to drill this, but the engine was open, so I didn't want to do that. Right. Um, and then does this go here, uh, or does there's, it? There's another bracket. Oh, okay. So we're getting close today. The goal is going to be to button all this up, airbox, everything. Uh, put the header on, so then Ben can start looking at the exhaust. Like we showed you, we got a skunk too, um, and it's just large it's probably too large it's probably gonna hurt us i put the you think it'll hurt us i mean i don't know we're, we're using the stock header so i've never been a big believer with huge exhaust in na anyway I've right never had the k24s love it yeah they need a three inch yeah. but we put them the sil. i put the silencer in i plan on leaving that in forever uh because this muffler is pretty small that's still what like 0.8 liters more of displacement yeah much, yeah yeah and then we've got the resonator there and if we have to we'll add some something else i just hope it sounds good i hope the stock header quiets it down enough the silencer quiets it down enough and we could just make the exhaust seamlessly modified to look good and perform fine like i said if i was younger when i was younger i still built things clean but i didn't have quite the attention to detail i have today i probably would have bought the skunk 2 header as well just to make everything bolt in but i know i knew i didn't want to do that with this car the header's in such good shape the shields are in such good shape this car needs to have a stock header stock manifold but i think we're on the right track to get this dialed today and get that exhaust in we're waiting on plug wires from honda we bought brand new ones josh did do the brake lines i don't know i know the filmer filmed it but josh did fix the brake lines bent it bent it all up nice so we're good there. We still have to bleed the brakes and Josh is gonna put the axles in and do all that fun stuff. So it's like, I would say the buttoning up, like at this point is gonna take quite a while, right Josh? Not really. No? Yeah. Like two, three hours? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean not like hella, but you had the engine out in like two hours. It was less than an hour. Yeah, oh really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had it out in two hours. Under an hour. Damn. Yeah, but like, you know, most people, they don't even put this, they don't even connect it. Like, right. They do the swap, like they, they ditch all the AC, right. they don't pull any lines out, like they don't do anything at all. So this is going to be... They just suck. This is going to be, yeah, they do yeah. suck. <laughs> they're mostly Rudnicks, if I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> if they're making a ton of power, then fuck all this. Right. If you want a turbo, you want... But like, this power and this bay, it just... It, this thing is just going to be so good. Point three, you know, foot pounds you lose when the compressor kicks on. Right. Whatever. Like right. Cares. Yeah. So the AC compressor will be here today or tomorrow. The T bracket will be here today or tomorrow, whenever that shows up. Yep. But other than that, we've got everything. Yeah. So let's get this done. Good looking. Well, Josh is installing the ITR seats, which isn't the easiest. Rudnick's over there revving. I'm gonna sit in the ITR seats for the first time. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. What I have here is an NSX R knob. Probably the most expensive shift knob I could have bought for this car. Yeah. I love that it's weighted. I love that I can't open it. And you know it came with this. Away, you know? Came with this Honda. Honda nut. 
quantity one there's a part number if you want that nut you got to get that nut look at this black chrome nut yes ICR style so it goes first right yep I feel like I'm in the way here all right oh Dang. I love the weight of this thing too remember those honeycomb ones that burn the fuck out of your hand oh my god you ever see that Jackie Chan? You ever see that Jackie Chan thing where he's going like Thunderbolt? Yeah, he's like, yep, like timing himself. I talked about that with the E36 this too. Fucking rally art suit. Yep, this yep. is sick. Walk past the fender. Not let it touch the window. Rest it up against your shoulder and face. Drop down to get your eagle on, girl. All right. So I'm gonna end this video before Josh and I get into the final touches on this. But uh, if you have any free chance to win the Civic, links in the description. TommyFit.com. This thing looks gangster as hell with the ITR5 lug, the wheels, the ground controls and conies. Obviously, we have to change the ride height. It's much lower in the front than it is in the rear. I gotta get my hand out of there. Um, the seats are in, the shift knobs in. Look at how good. The seating position's awesome. This thing. Look at how good the interior is. So like even that back. I know. Piece, like, it's all there. Hasn't been tried out with screwdrivers. Like all the interior is mint. Hell yeah. Functioning sunroof. This car needs a bath. We cleaned the interior today, but uh, and it needs some alignment, some leveling. But here it is for you boys. I'm gonna end the video there. Me and Josh are gonna get into the engine. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.